Hey there, my name is Chris Calabro. I'm the founder of Anosium. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your modic form styles. So we're gonna start with just a basic button styling, and then we're gonna move on to creating an actual custom theme for your form so that you can reuse that same style over and over again. So to get started, I'm just gonna quickly create a test basic form here. And let's just add a first name field. And we'll also add an email, email address. Okay, so if you've used Modic forms before, this is probably nothing new. Um, if you preview this form, you'll see here's the default Modic styling, right? So I saw in the forum recently, someone asked, how do I change the button, button style? And by the time I looked at this post, um, they had already, a couple of great community members had already provided an answer. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in a video, but it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna come in here to your form and you're gonna edit the submit button. You're gonna go under attributes and you'll see here, this is uh, where you can add your own styles. So I'm gonna remove that default option. And we're gonna copy and paste this different button styling. And if we paste that in there, hit update and apply, and we reload our form preview, you'll see we now have a yellow orangish color and a different font. Um, you know, a few things have changed there. So obviously, if you come in here and edit the actual attribute by putting in style equals and then your own CSS, you can change the button style. Now I'm gonna put that back to the default style for now because I wanna show you one more thing. Um, let's go check, make sure we're back to modic defaults. Okay. Now this is something that not everyone is aware of. Um, you can actually choose a theme for your modic form. So down here under themes, you can choose, for example, Sunday. And if I apply that and reload the preview, you'll see we now have a totally different look. Um, so there are a bunch of different themes, but a note of caution, not all of them have a form style associated with them. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. If let's say you wanted to use the cards theme, which is a newer modic theme. So I apply that and I come over here and I reload and I get this internal server error, right? Why is that? It's because not all themes have a form component. So if you go to your settings area and you go to themes and you look at cards, features, this is an email only theme. It does not have page or form styles like other themes such as Sunday do, okay? So what you have to do is you have to choose a theme that has a form feature included. So if I go back to our form and edit, I'm gonna go back to Sunday theme, apply, reload our preview, and we're, we're back on safe ground here. So if you like Sunday, uh, you can go ahead and use that. You could even change the button if you like the rest of it, but just wanna change the button. But in this next part of the video, what I'm gonna show you is creating an entire custom theme, a uh, totally new theme for your form styles. So normally what I'd say is you can go to themes and then choose the theme that you want to use as your starting point. So rather than create from scratch, I'm just gonna pick one and then modify the form styles. So unfortunately right now, I'm getting an error with uh, themes not being found. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded the most recent version of Modic uh, from modic.org, and I'm gonna use the theme file here. So let's say we want to use Sunday, but we want to create some modifications. So I'm gonna copy this folder and I'm gonna paste it in and our new theme is uh, going to be called Monday. And I'm actually gonna remove it out of this folder 
just put it on my desktop. Now, there are a couple things that you need to change. First, I'd say go ahead and change the uh, config file here. Let me close out some of this other stuff. So let's change the name of the theme to Monday, just so we don't have any confusion. And I'm gonna put Enosium based on modic theme, based on a theme by send with us. Okay, getting a little carried away here, but the point is you wanna change the, um, the name of your, your theme so that you don't have any conflicts. Now, coming back here and looking at the theme structure, um, the only other thing you need to change to modify your form style is coming in here to your HTML modic form bundle builder and this style.html.twig. And if you come uh, down here, you'll see here are the button styles, here are your styles for uh, radio and checkbox buttons, etc. So you can come in here, you can change any of the CSS. Um, but just for the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna change some things that will be super obvious. So I'm gonna come in here and change the labels on all our forms to be uh, super large. And I'm also going to make them uh, red, okay? So all I've done is increase the uh, font size and added red color to our form labels. Now, if we come back here to this, uh, to this theme file, in order to be able to install this in your modic instance, what you're gonna have to do is zip up all of these files. Now you don't wanna zip or compress this folder here. You actually need to select these files and then uh, compress those. So I'm gonna skip the thumbnail just cause I feel like it'll be a little confusing if I have the same thumbnail there. And I'm going to compress these four. And rather than just archive, I'm gonna call it monday.zip. So now we have our theme file and I'm gonna go ahead and install. And we see theme Monday has been installed. And if we scroll down, you can see Monday Here's the author, and we have page, email, and form features. So if we head back over to our forms, open up our test basic form, and we choose Monday, and we apply, and we reload our preview, you can see we now have giant form labels that are red. So that's how you create a custom form style and package it up as a custom theme for Modic. And the awesome thing about that is that next time you create a form, you can go in there, you know, create in your form, and you can choose that same Monday style and you don't have to touch the code. You don't have to edit any uh, button attributes, nothing like that. You can keep reusing that theme as many times as you like.